in this module you shall be able to understand the cognitive premise behind psychotherapies you will also learn about the conventional cognitive behavioral therapy out here and we will also identify cognitive therapies such as rational emotive therapy and transactional analysis you will also in the end we will also evaluate other contemporary cognitive therapies such as acceptance and commitment uh, therapy and mindfulness based cognitive therapy so acknowledging the robust role of cognition in causation of various disorders in previous module the focus now shifts on to possible cognitive interventions thus the focus of this module will be on understanding the intervention policies or modality of various therapies based on cognitive uh, premise uh, cognitive theories focus on cognition or the thinking process it stems from cognitive psychology with its emphasis on effects of thoughts and emotions and behavior it emerged in opposition to rigorous method methodology of behaviorism which completely denied the mental cause of behavior and uh, purely emphasized on stimulus response relationship this paradigm shifts marked the cognitive revolution happening in 1970s computer workings was viewed as the best analog to express the functioning of human brain and cognition in this era these developments propelled and gave scientific legitimacy to the cognitive revolution thus it is suggested that the integration of cognitive and behavioral techniques gave us the first true cognitive behavioral therapy the way, the other ways which revolutionized these concepts were in 2006 with more emphasis on empirical research and findings the focus from the content of thought only had now shifted to the processes of thought or in other words we can say to uh, not merely what we think but rather than how we think about these issues let's uh, understand the cognitive premise cognitive theorists have believed that thoughts influence feelings and behaviors If a person changes his way of thinking, feeling and behavior, it will be modified consequently. In a series of experimental studies on depressed patients which was done by Beck in 1967, they realized that depression was not only a byproduct of unconscious drives and forces, but rather persistent negative beliefs and biased information processing. This marked the reformulation of the existing psychodynamic perspective on the role of cognition which had largely been overlooked by the therapist. The introduction to the concept of schemas and its debilitating role in uh, interpretations of events was clearly explicated. The focus on tilts in information processing, cluster of beliefs maladaptive schemas were at the core of cognitive theory two themes were common to cognitive theory which were conviction that cognitive processes influence emotions and behaviors use of cognitive and behavioral change technique in a pragmatic manner let's now take theories one by one cognitive oriented theories The first cognitive oriented theory is the cognitive behavioral theory, therapy which is also called the CBT. It is belonging to the second wave aims to address uh, dysfunctional cognitions and resultant uh, emotions and behaviors. It presupposes that maladaptive thinking uh, determines felt emotions and executed behavior. The uh, the therapy has basically developed with the combination of using behavioral techniques to correct cognitive distortions cbt is considered to be here and now symptom oriented approach with active and directive role of the therapist in dealing with the presenting symptoms the therapist aims to direct cognitive distortions or errors in thinking with the and help them adopt more realistic 
effective view of life. The, it aims to challenge the dysfunctional beliefs and replace it with more structured and adaptive cognitions. It also poses to eliminate judgmentals called cognitive biases such as overgeneralization, anchor, uh, anchoring, catastrophizing, magnifying, negative and minimizing positives. CBT proposes six steps of functioning such as psychological assessment is there, reconceptualization is there, skill, skill acquisition is there, skill consolidation is also there and generalization and maintenance is also there. Last but not the least, follow-up plan is also there in uh, CBT. CBT is basically, uh, it can be used both in individuals and in group settings with focus on brief, goal-oriented and technique-specific approach. Uh, CBT in adolescents have been found to be quite effective treatment of body disorders, attention deficit uh, problems, obesity, anxiety, repetitive behaviors. CBT also includes varied specific techniques such as stress inoculation training, relaxation training, exposure therapy, uh, acceptance and commitment based therapies, all these are included, in, are included in CBT. It basically helps in dealing with the thoughts, emotions and behavior of a person. The major techniques used in CBTs are basically psychoeducation, which is uh, in this phase the clients were educated and made aware of nature of the problem in order to develop the insight of the subject over the issue. Then second is cognitive restructuring. With this technique, the client was encouraged and helped to adopt more rational or constructive ways of thinking about their problems. Third is the self-help. The therapist with this technique encouraged the personality of the client to mediate between the needs and reality. Fourth is diary writing. The client with this activity is encouraged to report his daily activities in a diary, helping him to release his thoughts and also to become aware of his unproductive thought processes. Fifth is relaxation and distraction. With this technique, the client was made to relax and also to distract from problems and issues. Sixth would be response delay and prevention. The client was encouraged to delay the dysfunctional response and also later to prevent it. Thus, last the ABC paradigm with this technique, the activating event leading to the thought processes and consequences is charted with the client and the client was encouraged to see the daily activities in his paradigm only. So ABC would be activating an event, behavior and consequences. CBT also includes the negative cognitive trait. The use of this technique was to disrupt the negative thoughts about the self, about the world and one's future. Hypothesis testing can also be used. With this method, the client was asked to test dysfunctional thoughts as hypothesis which is subject to criticism by rational argument and by empirical evidence. The critical evaluation of CBT reveals that it depicts itself as a shorter approach being clearly instructive and structured. It is found to be cross-cultural in, in approach generating future research. Uh, nevertheless, CBT has been found to be quite efficacious in comparison to other conventional and unconventional treatment modalities. The next therapy is the Rational Emotive Therapy, which we also say RET. It was introduced by Albert Ellis in 1960s. Having his orientation in psychoanalytical therapy like Beck and dissatisfaction emerging from lack of usage of scientific principles urged him towards uh, this shift. Rational Emotive Therapy basically and uh, emotional uh, uh, assessment of uh, one's uh, uh, feelings and it is basically uh, it is also upon the assumption that people are inherently rational and irrational logical and illogical this rationality and irrationality prevails 
as innate tendencies in various conflicting situations. Uh, it is absolutely, uh, it has also been said that uh, there are seven, eleven common irrational beliefs and these have been found by Ellis. These beliefs are, number one, it is absolutely essential to be loved or approved by uh, every significant person in one's life. To be worthwhile, a person must be competent, adequate and achieving in everything attempted. Some people are wicked, bad and therefore should be blamed or punished. Unhappiness is a result of outside events and therefore the person has no control over such despair. It is terrible and a catastrophe whenever events do not occur at one's hopes. Sometimes potential dangers or harmful should be a cause for great concern and should always be kept in mind. A person must depend on others and must have some, someone stronger on whom to rely. Running away from difficulties and responsibilities is easier than facing them. A person should get upset over the problems and difficulties of others. The past determines one's present behavior and thus it cannot be changed. Last but not the least, there is always a right answer to every problem and a failure to find this answer is very is a catastrophe. Ellis uh, had said that humans by nature are vulnerable, suggestible and thus easily prone to get disturbed. At the same time, people also have the means within themselves to deal with such difficult emotions. The emotional, uh, the feelings, the actions is basically how to deal with them is taught to the client. The ABC of RAT which explains A as activating experience, B as a person's thought about the experience and C as the emotional reaction to B is deeply explicited or explicated to the client. Teaching and dis uh, disputing emerge as primary technique of RAT. The patient in a conflict situation may refer to the card or may alter his feelings if it uh, through role playing, through completion of certain tasks, through uh, a client is encouraged to behave completely opposite to his normal behavior. All these strategies are used in RET. The therapy is basically appreciated for its clear, effective and short term approach. So let's understand the transactional analysis therapy. Another major cognitive theory is your transactional analysis which is also referred as TA which was formulated by Eric Byrne in, in the early 1960s. The theory rose to the prominence through the publication of best two selling books James People Say in 1964 by Eric Brank and I'm OK, You're OK in 1967 by Thomas Harris. TA has been viewed to be an optimistic theory with its basic presumption lying in the fact that people can change without any, any uh, unfortunate events of the past. With its anti-deterministic nature, the theory proposes that people have choices in their lives whereby they can choose an action and change the choice at a later date. TA is believed to be a rational approach in understanding behavior and is based on the positive view that all individuals can learn to trust, think and decide for their own selves. Primary methods used by TA to predict human behaviors would be structural analysis, aiming which is aiming to understand what is happening within the individual. Second would be transactional ana analysis, describing what happens between two or more people. Third would be game analysis, understanding transactions between individuals that lead to bad feelings. Fourth would be script analysis, delving into the lifespan that the individuals is following. So all these things would be involved in understanding your transactional uh, therapy. 
एक्सेप्टेंस एंड कमिटमेंट थेरेपी एक्सेप्टेंस एंड कमिटमेंट इज अ थर्ड वेव बिहेवियल थेरेपी डीलिंग विद अदर थेरेपीज सच एज डायलेक्टिकल बिहेवियर थेरेपी और माइंडफुलनेस बेस्ड कॉग्नेटिव थेरेपी रिफ्लेक्टिंग अ शिफ्ट फ्रॉम द कंटेंट ऑफ थॉट टू द प्रोसेस ऑफ थिंकिंग The theory was developed by Stephen G Hayes in 1980 and is based on functional contextualism which does not view clients as symptom oriented but rather aims to delineate the functions and context of behavior it is purely in opposition to mechanistic models uh, which target at fixing of problems instead ACT focuses on defining the functionality of behavior with the aim of creating more meaningful lives the main aim of act is to explore fullness and vitality of client's life and develop psychological flexibility the therapy does not attempt to directly change the unwanted intrusive thoughts as conventional cognitive therapies but rather to develop a mindful relationship with the thoughts so as to stop a reaction to them according to act the psychological flexibility which can be understood as ability to be present to open up and carry on activities which are important is gained through six processes number 1 contact with the present to focus on here and now resolve the past and live in the present number 2 self as context considering self as continuing and unchanging to consider self in the background and to understand the actions as dependent of self diffusion to reduce the tendency of uniting the negative thoughts images emotions and its influence on the subsequent behavior fourth is acceptance to be able to accept things as they are rather than um, elaborating them or saying they are very difficult values defining what is important to one uh, own self and taking actions in accordance to it sixth committed action setting goals according to the values and carrying them out with sincerity and dedication all above six processes do not operate in isolation and are interdependent mindfulness acceptance and value clarification lie at the core of the therapy mindfulness can be developed through coming in contact with the observing self rather than the thinking self to be aware of the occurrence of phenomena rather than engaging into the process is the art of mindfulness as emphasized by act its technique focus on experiencing and observing self first hand without being contaminated with sensations emotions and perceptions on the other hand acceptance is the ability to deal with things as they are instead of feelings or instead of fighting or avoiding them it is the ability to separate person from cognition for instance a person rather than saying i am worthless or should say i have a thought that i am worthless this differentiates the painful emotion and underlying a uh, biased cognition from the person itself the ability to open up also falls uh, complementary to mindfulness and acceptance to be able to detach from experience of the phenomena allows opening up to the new sense of being value clarifications aims at identifying what matters to a person and taking actions as guided by the chosen values these identified values generally act like a guide to intentional and effective behavior the next therapy is mindfulness based cognitive therapy which is also referred as mbct it is the meditation approach to the cognition methodology as developed by john kabat-zinn 2001 
it aims at improving well-being, mindfulness and spiritual experience in an individual. At the same time, it carries the potential to reduce stress and elaborate on coping strategies. Mindfulness can be understood as a state of being rather than state of doing. It is the unique ability to pay attention to the observing self yet being non-judgmental about it. It is the full awareness of yourself with evaluating the quality of experience. It involves self-regulation of attention and the ability to direct the attention to other aspects such as deep breathing or feeling the nature. Mindfulness as a technique is generally applicable to deal with emotional problems such as stress, anxiety, depression, bipolar disorders, behavioral problems which could be substance addiction, pathological eating, etc. It has been found to be very effective with depression also. MBCT has been developed in response to reveal that people who were trained with MBCT have stayed free of depression and results have been equally good as being uh, on antidepressants. MBCT in comparison to CBT focuses on the presence of thought rather than the experience of thought. The former states I am having a thought whereas the later states I am. It does not lay much emphasis on the judgment of thought as positive or negative but only on its existence. It purports new ways of being in difficult circumstances than new ways of looking at challenging situations as in conventional CBT. MBCT focuses on awareness of thought without changing it whereas CBT emphasizes on delineating dysfunctional thoughts and eliminating them from cognitive frame. Patients who have been trained in MBCT report positive effects such as being more patient and gentler to oneself, being more mindful every day and yet less critical. It also gives a skillful technique and if applied in an appropriate way proves to be even more effective than antidepressants in, individual, in the long term for individuals. All of the above mentioned cognitive therapies have cognitions or the process of thinking at the epicenter but may vary in the techniques and in methods to bring about a cognitive change. Now what all uh, till now we have studied let's go through that and let's try and understand what all we have done in this module. Cognitive theory evolved in opposition to behaviorism and conventional cognitive behavioral therapy and then the second wave of therapy such as rational emotive therapy, transactional analysis and the third wave of therapies like acceptance, commitment, mindfulness based cognitive therapy. Cognitive behavioral therapy proposes cognition to pl play a significant role in determining emotions and behaviors. Rational emotive therapy as developed by Aaron Beck focused primarily on irrational beliefs and ABC paradigm as the cause of psychopathology. It suggested various techniques such as disputations, confrontations, encouragements to deal with the irrational beliefs. Transactional analysis as developed by Eric held an optimistic view of life. They, it con constituted four methods to understand and predict behavior that is structural an analysis, transactional, game and script analysis. Beside this, various other techniques such as confrontation, illustration, interrogation, interpretations were also recommended. Acceptance and commitment therapy belonging to the third wave emphasized on exploring full uh, uh, vitality of client's life and developing psychological flexibility. It suggested core techniques to enhance psychological flexibility such as contact with present, diffusion, self as contact, acceptance, value and commitment. Mindfulness based cognitive therapy initiated the art of being mindful than challenging cognitive dysfunctions. Mindfulness was conceptualized 
as a state of observing one own self oneself yet being non judgmental about it uh, mbct which is the mindfulness based cognitive therapy has been proved to be very effective in treatment of depression in some cases even equal to the effects of antidepressants also